Hello everybody, Stair Sticks Fix back in the hizzle with some more eBay shizzle. Okay, so before I crack this open, this is the listing uh, on eBay. As you can see, I paid $4.99 for this. It's 20, yes, 20, Dymo Amiga embossing home label maker turn and click for spares and repairs. These are basically the, um, the little labeling uh, systems, the mechanical. So there's nothing electrical in these. You basically rotate, rotate the dial until you get the required letter, and then pull the trigger. So, I mean, it's only four ninety nine for twenty of them. I had a look at the time, and I think you, the brand new. These were like, I think about twenty quid each. All of them don't print properly. That's basically all it says. So we've got a couple of pictures. It's quite weird, isn't it? Lovely. Oh look, there's my reflection. Mm. Right, so let's open it up. Box is a bit damaged. <laughs> look at that. They're bigger than I thought. Okay. Well, I'm not going to count them because I can't be bothered. Um, I'm just going to assume there's 20 in there. I'm wondering what the problem could be with them. They can't surely all have the same fault and they all don't, you know, don't print in the same way. But I guess I'm just going to have to test them all. So, what I'll do is I'll sort through these and then I'll come back and I'll have them in separate piles as you know if any of them are working we'll take it from there a bit overwhelmed to be honest why did I buy so many All right so I just pulled one out at random um, I'm just going to open one of them up um, I've also got a replacement tape thing it's not a genuine one but I'm hoping it it works um, and then I can just you know open this one up have a look inside and then I'll go through and I'll do the same with all of them obviously I won't film all of them because you get bored so will I probably so how do you open them that's the question we've got two screws there is that it just two screws in fact before we do that let's Let's pop this in. How does it go? I've got literally no idea what I'm doing here. Does it just go up there like that? It's got an arrow there. Do I... Oh, yeah, it's coming through. Ah, if you squeeze it again, it cuts it off. Right, well, let's try... Let's try zero. Right, it's just, done, it's done a couple of them. Let's do the old classic. How do you... Hey, that... Oh. Looks all right to me. Anyway, okay. Well, at least I know how to put the thing in. Okay, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to test them all, and then I'll put them in separate piles. For me, that one looks like it's working. Okay. Um, I just hope they're not all like that. Otherwise, this is going to be quite boring. Right, this is the last one. As you can see, I'm now a dab hand at this. And there we go, there's nothing wrong with that one. Oops. Right, so 
Right, so we've got three piles, we've got this enormous pile on the left, which is the ones that are working fine, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. Uh, I've got these three in the middle which um, aren't taking... Sorry, there's two different things here. These two don't take the tape at all, so there's, there's just nothing, I, I can't test it any further. This one does print, as you can see, but it doesn't cut. So when you get to the, the end, you, you have to you know pull it out and cut it with some scissors. Um, but other than that, that one is working. And all of these aren't working, as in they take the tape, but they don't print anything legible. You can see a bit of an A there. Um, nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. It's, um, yeah, most of them, they just make a couple of little lines like that. Um, they're just not embossing it properly. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with that fault where it does take the tape but doesn't print. We've got two where it doesn't take the tape at all. We've got one where it prints but doesn't cut. So what's that, 10? So that means I must have 10 that are fully working. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifty percent of the 20, there's absolutely nothing wrong with. Which I'm kind of glad because if I had to fix 20 of these, I think I would probably go insane. I'll put the 10 that are working to one side and then I'm going to look at these seven here. I'm going to open one of them up and I'm going to see if I can figure out what the problem is. I'm guessing it's the same problem for all of them. And then I'll worry about these three later. Okay, so let's try and take this apart and just see if we can figure out what's going on with it. I can only see these two screws, so I'm assuming that's all I've got to do. Any ideas how to open this? Like that, I guess. Right, so it's very simple. There's a when you squeeze the trigger, it's like a little hook that comes up, goes over the top of this gear, and just sort of pulls it round, which is what obviously takes the tape in. And that all seems to be working fine on that. So this uh, mm, yeah I mean there's another screw there so let's try and take this apart it's quite simple then isn't it really so it it must just squeeze the tape between these these two which which gives it the Gives it the embossing. But what would make it not work? The tape goes in through there. It goes between the two. Sort of the, I don't know, the, the hammer and the plate. I don't know what, what you'd call it. And then it comes out through there. So if we want an A, we would squeeze the trigger and it would push that hammer onto the plate and then this mechanism would feed the tape through after it's done it. So squeeze, presses it on, release, spins, and, the, and then the tape is pushed through. So there's not a lot to go wrong, really. It must just be, maybe it was slightly out of alignment, because I guess if, um, if the plate isn't lined up with the, with the letter, you know, it isn't gonna work, is it? Hmm. I'm just going to try that. I'm going to see if that um, it was just slightly out of alignment. So let's just pop this back in. Oh sh! Did print a couple of A's there, but it, then it stopped 
taking it through. Uh, it's getting it's getting stuck. It's gonna open up another one and then see if it looks the same. didn't look aligned there no that's definitely not in the right place that should be there right, that was miles out I think is that just gonna be as easy as that for that one let's try it through let's try a b aha gotcha no that one works perfect so i'm guessing that's going to be the case with the majority of these i think they will have just come out of alignment um so i'm going to go through all of these now and see how many of them i can get working Right, it's time to announce the results. So, I bought 20. How many do you think I fixed? That's right, 19. Um, well, no, nine, <laughs> because 10 of them were already working. Um, but yeah, nine. And then we've got this one that does kind of work, but just doesn't cut properly. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. I've got 19 and a half working Dymo embossers. What the hell am I going to do with 19 and a half working Dymo embossers? I'm probably going to sell them on eBay. Um, I'll keep a few because they are pretty cool. Um, you know, I can write labels for the cat and stuff. <laughs> right, well, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it as much as, much as I did. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe for more Can I Fix It and How-To videos. Thanking you. Take care.